this is kind of like a part two of the Nautilus uh, right click plugins. Uh, these are some of the new ones that I found I thought was useful. So let me demonstrate them. Now the first one is uh, based on the EXIF uh, tags. Uh, it's mainly in digital cameras, you know, when you take a, a picture, they'll tell you the the, uh, the creation date, the brand of the camera, sometimes even the location and GPS code and all that. So normally you view those as, uh, you know, you right click on it and you go to properties and uh, in images here, you can see that it has, um, you know, the brand, um, the model and all that. However, this one, it only, um, well, it'll rename it to the creation date. Uh, some people like to organize it by you know their creation date when it was taken and all that so you can do that here so um, if you right click on this it will have this uh, right click command where it says rename uh, you know to EXIF uh, date and you can see that it will rename it to the creation date now for other pictures like, like this um, you know they do not have that option because it doesn't have any of those tags so that's how you know if you know you have one of those tags or not so it's basic stuff. Uh, the next one is um, mounting. I guess this one is is um, based off the G mount script or something like that. But basically, this is how it works. Um, you know, by default, uh, Nautilus they have uh, this thing. If you right click on it, you can mount the the ISO, and it'll be over here, right? Now, if you mount it like this, uh, you have this um, long, you know path here which you cannot really use if you're using like a play on Linux to install stuff so this path is uh, you know it's, it's not the the standard okay but this is good for if you want to uh, view just you know all the files in there and you you can execute it but uh, for plan for like mounting an ISO or not, and stuff like that to install on a, a play on Linux or something like that uh, this is not the recommended way uh, you know, there's other ways like uh, Ace Tone ISO and all that, but uh, uh, with the G mount here. So we, let me unmount this, and we use the G mount or um, what's this called? This is just the mount. I, I don't know even what's it called, but I'm pretty sure it's based off the G mount script. So if you right click on this, uh, you have this mount option right here now. See, this is the script, and uh, you mount it, and um, Type in your password. And it'll mount it like that, you know, but you can see that the path is uh, much cleaner. See, it says media and it says the, the ISO. And you can actually use this in uh, Play on Linux, I believe. And uh, that's a good thing. However, I, I don't really um, consider this the best, um, uh, you know, add on to this because. If you try to unmount it from here, it's uh, it's not gonna work. See, it'll tell you this, which is uh, pretty dumb. I, I don't like the way that they do that. But uh, if you want to unmount it, you actually have to go back to the ISO, this one, all right, and then you right-click on it, and then you can unmount like that, and it will be gone. See, it's not here anymore. Not the best, but uh, it is a convenience, you know. Uh, it's better than you know, loading up uh, Ace Tone uh, ISO just to mount it. So that's there for that. And the last one I'm talking about is uh, Send to Gmail. Now, if you don't have uh, you know a Gmail account, go ahead and make one because Yahoo sucks. Okay, they're making me pay just to forward my email. You know the option used to be free, and now they're making it pay, which is just ridiculous. Uh, so the best free one is probably Gmail. Uh, so that's it for that. Um, so this is how you would send files to Gmail really quick. Um, let's say you have a few files. I don't know, maybe uh, this one, this one, this one. All right. And all you gotta do is right click on it now, and it says send to Gmail. And um, they'll tell you to type in your password or something like that. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, at the end, it will give you like a pop-up or something. See, it says right here, your message has been sent. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's a convenience. And if I go check my, um, you know, Gmail here, you can see that the files that I've sent is uh, all here now. 
so you send it to yourself and you know save yourself the trouble of uploading it so I like that one too um, I like I like shits that are convenience uh, and that's one of them uh, so those are the three and I'll post a link on the side and just go download it it's a dev file pretty, pretty easy to install okay so that is it for part two of the Nautilus plugins.